Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, the Sir DL, and welcome to the Elegant's Vlog. By the way, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga patuloy pong tumatangkirik sa mga videos ko. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga patuloy po na nag-subscribe. Uh, lubos po ang aking pasasalamat and I feel overwhelmed with the good feedback that I am hearing from other people po. All the glory belongs to God. And I hope all the tutorials that I am giving you po are, are of big help. And I would like to make more tutorials in order for us to, to help our students as well to have Uh, to, to realize that mathematics is fun, mathematics is good, mathematics is enjoyable. Maraming maraming salamat po. Keep subscribing on my YouTube channel. Keep on sharing the videos. Keep, keep on encouraging people to subscribe and watch all the tutorials that I am uploading on my YouTube channel. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat po. Pagpalahin po kayo lahat po ni Lord. For today, we will be having another math tutorial and it is all about Order of operations. Watch this. God bless you. You are excited again to learn this day. Let's start to discuss order of operations. Before that, let's try to state the objectives of the lesson. Number one, discuss order of operations. Number two, identify the rules of order of operations. Number three, perform the indicated operations. And number four, explain the importance of order of operations. Before we start our main lesson, I would like to leave again a quotation. Good order is the foundation of all things. Always remember that good order is the foundation of all things. But what is order of operations? Order of operations, these are the rules that state the sequence in which the multiple operations in an expression should be solved. In short, order of operations will help us to know which among the, the operations will be solved first. When we encounter a lot of operations within one problem, I'll be giving you an example. Po. So before we have an example, we would like I would like you to know the order of operations, which must go must go first, which must go second, third, fourth, and so on and so forth. So you need to remember the acronym PEMDAS. Para hindi kayo malito kung anong unahin niyo. The first one must be parenthesis. That's the first in order. Second one is exponent, multiplication, division. <laughs> Addition and subtraction. Always remember, multiplication and division are, are co-equal operations. Wala pong mas sa kanila. If, if time comes that you have two operations like multi multiplication and division in, in one problem, make sure to solve left to right. Same thing with addition and subtraction. You must solve from left to right. So these are the operations that you need to understand. These are th this must be the order, parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's start to solve the first problem. We have 5 plus 6 times 2. Do we have parenthesis with the within the given problem? We don't have. How about exponent? We don't have also. Multiplication. Yes, we have multiplication. That's why we should do multiplication first. What is 6 times 2? 6 times 2 is 12. Very good. 6 times 2, that's 12. There's no other way but to add. So 5 plus 12, that is 17. That is the order of operation. You must identify first if you have parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, then you can solve. And identify which should go first on your operation. Second problem, 6 divided by 3 times 4. As I've said a while ago, division and multiplication are co-equal. If nagkasama sila sa isang problem, we must solve from left to right. Left to right, that's why we have 6 divided by 3 times 4. We will be solving from left to right. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Very good. So 2 times 4, that is Eight. So if we have div division and multiplication, we will be solving the problem from left to right. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Then 2 times 4, that is 8. Next problem, we have 12 plus 6 divided by 3 minus 4. We don't have parenthesis and exponent. We don't have multiplication. What we have is division. So we will be starting from solving division. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So we have 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Bring down 12, bring down negative 4. 
Next, we have addition and subtraction. As I've said a while ago again, if you have addition and subtraction on the same problem, we will be solving from left to right. So, let's solve this one. 12 plus 2, that is 14 minus 4, that's 10. Okay? 12 plus 2, that's 14 minus 4, that is 10. I hope you followed. Let's try to have another example. The quantity of 5 plus 11 divided by 2 times 5. Let's identify first if we have parentheses. Do we have parentheses? Yes, we have parentheses. That is 5 plus 11. So we should do first 5 plus 11. What is 5 plus 11? That is 16. Very good. Bring down divided by 2 times 5. We also have we have now 16 divided by 2 times 5. So we have division and multiplication at the same time. That's why we will be doing, we will be solving from left to right. So 16 divided by 2, that is 8. Then 8 times 5, that is 40. Okay, next. We have here the quantity of 2 plus 1 squared. Multiply 2 divided by 6 plus 5. Do we have parentheses? Yes, we have. So we have 2 plus 1, that is 3. 2 plus 1, that is 3 squared times 2 divided by 6 plus 5. We have exponent? Yes, we have exponent. 3 squared, what is 3 squared? 3 times 3, that is 9. 9, then bring down 2 divided by 6 plus 5. We have multiplication, division. Yes, we have. They go together. They are co-equal. So we will be doing, we will be solving it from left to right. What is 9 times 2? That is 18. Very good. Divide by 6 plus 5. We have now division and addition. Which goes first? So we will be doing division. 18 divided by 6, that is 3. Then 3 plus 5, that is 8. I hope you were able to follow me. I hope you you followed, you understood the instruction and the orders of operation. Let's have another example. So we have the quantity of 2 plus 4 raised to 2 divided by the quantity of 5 minus 3 raised to 2 plus 25 times 4. Do we have parentheses? Yes, we have. So we will be solving first the, the terms inside the parentheses. So it's 2 plus 4, that is 6. 5 minus 3, that is 2. So 2 plus 4, that is 6. 5 minus 3, that is 2. Do we have exponent? Yes, we have exponent. That's why we will be, we will be solving first the exponent. 6 squared, then 2 squared. 6 times 6, that is 36. 2 times 2, that is 4. Next, do we have multiplication and division? Yes, we have. They are separated by addition. So we can solve this one, 36 divided by 4 and 25 multiplied by 4 at the same time. So we can solve 36 div divided by 4, that is 9. 25 multiplied by 4, that is 100. On this part, we don't have any choice but to add. So the answer will be 9 plus 100. The answer is 109. I hope... You catch up with our lesson. You were able to catch up. Let's move on on the next example. So we have here the quantity of 6 divided by 3 squared plus the quantity of 4 minus 3 squared plus 24 divided by 4. The question, do we have parentheses? Yes, we have parentheses. So we will be solving the terms inside the parentheses. So 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 4 minus 1, that is 3. Again, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 4 minus 3, that is 1. Next process. Do we have exponent? Yes, we have exponent. So we will be solving this one. 2 squared. What is 2 squared? That is 4. 1 times 1, that is 1. So 4 plus 1 plus bring down 24 divided by 4. Next, do we have multiplication? We don't have. Do we have division? Yes, we have division. 24 divided by 4, that is 6. 
So we have now bring down 4, bring down 1, 24 divided by 4, that is 6. So we don't have any choice but to add because we have 2 addition operation. Okay? 2 plus 1, 4 plus 1, plus 6. What is 4 plus 1, that's 5, plus 6, that is 11. As simple as that. You know what? You just need to follow the the order of operations in order for you not to be lost when every time that you solve problems, okay? Um, it's very important for us to follow the, the rules because in mathematics, isang mali mo lang, isang maling process mo lang, everything will be wrong. Make sure we learn something. We we need to be careful in everything that we do in order for us to be to be arriving with the correct answer. Next, another example. The quantity of 3 plus 4 divided by 2 squared plus the quantity of 5 minus 3 multiplied by 1 squared minus 2 plus 4 divided by 4. Do we have parentheses? Yes, we have. So we have the quantity of 3 plus 4 divided by 2 squared. We have 5 minus 3 multiplied by 1 squared. That's quantity of 5 minus 3 multiplied by 1 squared. So as you can see, we have, again, multiple operations inside the parentheses. So if that ta if that thing happens, we need to identify first which among the operations or which between the two operations will be solved first. We have addition and division on this part. So based on the order of operation, we will be starting from division. Based on this part, we will be starting from multiplication. So four divided by two, that is two. 3 multiplied by 1, that is 3. Bring down 3, bring down 5, then bring a negative 2, 4, negative 4. Do we have exponent? Yes, we have exponent. But we still have to solve the, the terms inside the parentheses. That is 3 plus 2, then 5 minus 3. What is 3 plus 2? That is 5. 5 minus 3, that is 2. 3 plus 2, that's 5. 5 minus 3, that is 2. Then bring down negative 2 plus 4, negative 4. We can now solve the exponent part. So what is 5 squared? What is 5 times 5? That is 25. What is 2 times 2? That is 4. So 5 times 5, 25. 2 times 2, that is 4. Bring down negative 2 plus 4, negative 4. Okay, next. Do we have multiplication? We don't have. Do we have division? Yes, we have. So we will be solving first the division part. What is 4 divided by 4? That is 1. 4 divided by 4, that is 1. Bring down 25 plus 4 minus 2. So we have addition and subtraction on the last part. So we will be doing from left to right. What is 25 plus 4? That is 29. Minus 2, 27 plus 1. So the answer is... 28 again 25 plus 4 that is 29 minus 2 that is 27 plus 1 that is 28 that is the correct answer moving on on the next example 4 divided by 2 times 2 squared or the quantity of 4 divided by 2 times 2 squared plus the quantity of 6 minus 5 plus 3 raised to 3 divided by the quantity of 8 minus 36 divided by 6. So as we can see, as you can see, you, we have a lot of parentheses. So the first thing that we need to do is to identify which among the operations must be solved inside the parentheses. There are different operations again inside the parentheses. We need to identify first. Let's try to identify on this part. We have 4 divided by 2 times 2. Since we have multiplication and division, they go together, we will be solving from left to right. So that is 4 divided by 2, that is 2 times 2, that is, that is 4. Very good. This 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 6 minus 5, that is 1. 36 divided by 6, that is 6. Again, we start from this part, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 6 minus 5, since we have minus and, and addition, we solve from left to right. 6 minus 5, that is 1. Bring down 1. 8 minus 36 divided by 6, that is 6. Because we will be solving first the division part on this part. Then we bring down 8. Next one, we solve this one. 2 times 2, 
that is 4. 1 plus 1, that is 2. 8 minus 6, that is 2. Again, 2 times 2, that is 4. 1 plus 1, that is 2. 8 minus 6, that is 2. I hope you were able to catch up. Again, 2 times 2, that is 4. 1 plus 1, that is 2. 8 minus 6, that is 2. So do we have exponent? Yes, we have. So we will be solving from this part. 4 squared, what is 4 squared? That is 4 times 4, that is 16. What is 2 cubed or 2 raised to 3? That is 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. So we have 4 times 4, 16. 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. Then bring down, divided by 2. What's next? We have addition and division. So we will be dividing 8 divided by 2. That is 4. So we don't have any choice but 2 to add. 16 plus 4, that is 20. I hope you followed. I hope you understood the process that we did today. Just follow the sixth order of operations, which should go first and which should go last. So we have parentheses, exponent, multiplication and division are co-equal. If you have multiplication and division on the same problem, you need to solve from left to right. Same thing with addition and subtraction. We solve from left to right. Next one. Oh, we're, we're finished. So I would like to end up again with this quotation. Always remember, doing your best is better than being the best. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And I hope you will be able to subscribe on my YouTube channel and you will be sharing this video to your classmates to your students, to your friends, to your brothers and sisters, so that they'll be able to understand and learn the order of operations. By the way, this is Sir DL, and thank you for watching the DLians vlog. Thank you for watching my tutorial. God bless you all. Thank you for watching, and God bless you. Always remember that God loves you so much. He loves you. He cares for you. He, he wants to be with you where he is as of now. Okay, God bless you, everyone. Thank you.